Hiya, hiya. Joey Reynolds here. Uh, California is known for suspiciously fruits, nuts, and my daughter is growing medical marijuana. Fruits, nuts, and weed. <laughs> they don't seem to go together. She's growing like a weed, but she's expecting. And any minute now, we'll have a baby. I talked to her this morning, and she said, uh, Dad, you know, my water didn't break. And I said, well, be careful in California. <laughs> We're waiting for a lot of water to break, and uh, we're, we're expecting it to, uh, to to heal us, not your water. <laughs> but you know what? we got a lot of problems in our society, and they come from people who are uh, acting out all of the time, and then there are those who are the canary in the coal mine. That's what Trump is doing right now, I think. You know, he's a guy who's got the loud mouth. That's what Morton Downey Jr. was on television. Uh, earlier days, it was Joe Pine on Channel 5 in Los Angeles. He started all of this stuff on on outrageous behavior on TV, and more Downey furthered it by being the number one crown prince of talk and shock talk in history. Now, uh, after he got fired and left there, uh, we did a series of movies on the streets in L.A. I, I took him around and I shot with him. Uh, we were in front of the uh, an office where the guy with AIDS couldn't get uh, some government money. We went. We talked to roofers. We went on the beach where an old timer said. We're, we're dying from greed. Uh, it, it, I was on a, on a beach in Santa Monica. I got all this footage and I shot it and I sent it over to King World because they were the number one company in the world. And I wanted to run that. It would be the first reality television show. It was Morton Downey walking around, smoking his cigarette, talking to the regular people. And it was an everyday shoot. We did that uh, for a couple of weeks and it never made the TV. But that's my proud uh, moment was shooting that show. I wish that I, I uh, when I get a, a, a TV show somewhere uh, that's long form, you know, this is short form, then I'm going to run that thing. Now, you know, um, I, I've got to tell you something. Morton Downey's lawyer was Trump's uh, lawyer. And, and they're, they're friends, you know. I mean, Morton Downey and Donald Trump were friends. And uh, I remember when we did the show for a week from Atlantic City, and uh, we did a Trump Trump's Casino, Trump's Plaza, and he had a, a, at that time, I think even Mike Tyson was fighting. A lot of these things were uh, were germs. They were just, they hadn't blossomed yet. But Downey, Downey was the guy behind a lot of the stuff in a way because he was outrageous and he got attention. Uh, Howard Stern did it on radio. I did it years ago on the radio in a more innocent time. Uh, Imus did it. All, all of us guys are uh, famous for acting out. And then on television, of course, sometimes you'll see people walk off the show. Even Regis Philbin did that. He walked off of Joey Bishop's show, if you know the history of that one. You know, we, uh, Jack Parr quit his own show. People have done this throughout history and gotten famous for it. Even Dan Rather, who scandalized himself. Uh, and the lie by Brian Williams, alleged lie, you know. Uh, so th this acting out gets attention. And people really, you, you know, uh, hello. Here's the news, and I am the news. You know that's <laughs> that's what's happening. So in Los Angeles, where we have this uh, this great moment of Morton Downey Jr. and and walking along the streets, I wish I could share that with you. However, the film of Morton Downey Jr. The Evocateur is on CNN Thursday night at 9 p.m. Thursday at 9 p.m. And I happen to be in the film because he was roommates with me uh, years ago, a couple of times. And uh, as a matter of fact, when I was responsible for the hit record, Sherry, I locked myself in the studio in Hartford and played it for four hours, and it became a hit. Thank you very much, Jersey Boys. Uh, that was me. I was the jock that did that. And Morton Donnie was the program director. So uh, he's a guy that never pulled the plug on me. He let me go for four hours to do that. He, he was outrageous and let me be outrageous. So you got to know that part of the story. And it ties in to, uh, to the Magic City. Now, you know, we, we all have tried to uh, take a shot at, uh, at certain things. Morton Downey then went to do movies after television, and he was in a couple of films, uh, big ones too. I forgot what the names of them were. There was a series that he did. It just escapes my mind for a moment. But, you know, uh, we, we all have a history of, of, of starting somewhere, and Breezes Philbin even, he was a guy that was a little bit over the top, as I mentioned earlier, and he started in L.A. in the morning. He started to uh, fool around at 7 o'clock in the morning on KABC. So, uh, you know, L.A., for as much as it's supposed to be very formal and conservative, it's created some outrageous people. <laughs> We've done some pretty, pretty wild things, you know. <laughs> so uh, you're going to have to go a long way to top this <laughs> anyway.
<laughs> it's a city watch. I'm, I got my watch. I got my city watch on. No, time is up.